Okay, fantastic. Thank you. You know, it's it's really amazing to follow Jen's presentation with our, our presentation right here because essentially we're trying to do the same thing, except we're a much smaller college and dealing with a lot fewer students. But then also, uh, no um, TAs, no grad students, just a few instructors trying to put together a curriculum. So right from the get go, I want to thank my uh, my colleagues Scott Richardson and Carrie Davy who uh, assisted in some of the projects that I'm showing you right here. Um, and, and so essentially, I just want to show people how we leverage this H5P tool to make things a little more interactive and engaging for students. And so um, to give you a little bit of background, picture that it's May 8th, and we've been told that everything's going to be online and here we are in our chemistry department meeting thinking well just what are we going to be doing next how can we deliver these labs and the idea is that we were told that actually we can have some in-person labs so half of our labs are going to be in person half of our labs had to be online well how were we going to do the online labs and so we took some time to look at the various things that are available online such as chem collective labster beyond labs there are others and all of these are great products but as we were looking at the experiments that were available they didn't seem to fit really what we wanted to do so then it was proposed well all right let's video um doing our own particular labs following the procedures that we would normally do but um we would film ourselves uh, we would make the appropriate data sets and make those available to the students and they would be filling out essentially the standard lab reports at the same time our support group um, at the college, the educational technology group, we're giving us instruction about various things that we could do with Moodle, various interactive tools. And so I became aware of H5P, which is an abbreviation for HTML5 package. And this is a free open source platform that actually was integrated into, or at least available in our Moodle package. And, and now um, Moodle 3.9 actually has it completely integrated and it allows us to make more interactive material in particular to overlay um, interactions onto videos, make interactive presentations, flashcards, um, quizzes with a variety of formats image hotspots, that sort of thing. And given that uh, while I have some familiarity with uh, working with um, animations and things, I'm not that skilled. And so I had to figure out ways that we could perhaps record the videos uh, of labs being done, but make them more interactive, um, uh, allow for some accountability to students. And so what I'm about to present to you next um, is uh, essentially a short video that I made about five minutes that shows you some of the things that we used H5P for. And the things that are on the left were more uh, general for the whole department, interactive lab videos, uh, pre-lab assignments, interactive tutorials. And then I also applied the same H5P to the videos that I recorded for my lectures and also some of the course tutorials. So at this stage, um, let me see. I did have it all ready here, but oh, let's see, I see it right here. So I am going to grab, oh, pardon me. There we are, nope, okay. I'm gonna grab it over here and I'm gonna play this video. In this short video, I present a number of applications of the H5P platform that I use to address some of the challenges in presenting the chemistry lab and lecture in an online environment. Over the past two semesters, the first year chemistry labs have been presented as a hybrid of in-person and online labs. For the online labs, we elected to produce videos of the experiments after which data are provided to the students to process. Here we see one example for a calorimetry experiment. The videos provide some theoretical background and context and show the actual lab technique and data collection. 
Our goal in this lab is to use coffee cup calorimetry to experimentally determine the enthalpy change for two different aqueous reactions. In the last part of the experiment, data is collected with the goal to ultimately determine delta H5. Scott taps the start button to start the temperature versus time data collection. When the temperature has stabilized, he adds the ammonium chloride to the water. To promote student engagement and to ensure some level of accountability, I use the H5P platform to provide interactive questions associated with the videos. The questions probe students' understanding of the experimental steps by asking them to make relevant calculations and also to make predictions about possible outcomes. The data for the video experiments only become available if the students achieve a perfect score in these interactive questions. A perfect score is indeed possible because students have multiple attempts of these questions. In the past, one of our labs involved an in-person tutorial that allowed students to work and think in three dimensions with chemistry model kits. In attempting to simulate this situation, I prepared a tutorial using the H5P course presentation which results essentially in an interactive slideshow. I included embedded videos made with chemistry modeling software that show the manipulation of three-dimensional models. We will go to a different molecular visualization tool to explore this next point. Once again, here is the ball and stick model for butane. Because carbon atoms are bonded by sigma bonds, rotation about the bonds can occur the videos were then followed up with relevant questions. The students were also guided in using an online chemistry draw software. To check the correctness of their drawings, a unique code called a SMILES code could be exported and then checked in the H5P quiz feature. The scores of the tutorial would be tallied and a perfect score would allow the student to access a follow-up post-tutorial quiz. Normally, for in-person labs, we would require students to prepare a lab notebook prior to coming to the lab. This ensured that students had read and hopefully understood the experiment. To minimize the exchange of paper and books, etc., during the pandemic, however, we elected not to use the lab notebook. Instead, we had students complete an online lab assignment, which was again created using the H5P course presentation feature. The goal was to assist students to be able to picture the steps in the experiment and also to be familiar with the specific quantities of the reagents used. In this example, you see that I initially type in values with the incorrect level of precision that is not enough significant figures. Only when the correct precision is shown is the answer marked correct. For online teaching, many of us have found that the delivery of content has been more challenging and less efficient. To support student learning and make some attempt to achieve the plethora of learning outcomes, I have used H5P to make numerous interactive lecture videos and tutorials. Here is one example of a tutorial on the topic of aromaticity for my second year organic course. Again, the emphasis is to allow students to engage with the material in an interactive manner with immediate and hopefully rich feedback. Hopefully this video has provided you with a sense of how the H5P platform supports student engagement in the chemistry lab and lecture. I thank you for your kind attention. So that video gives you a sense of how I was able to use H5P to make these various things a little more interactive. So as I say, a big thank you to my colleague Scott Richardson, who was the star of the uh, the um, lab videos and Kerry Davey, my colleague, who for all of the lab material essentially proofread everything and gave a lot of feedback. So I really appreciated that. And then finally, I, I appreciate your kind attention for allowing me to uh, share with you some of the things that we did this past semester in trying to deliver um, a meaningful experience to our, our students um, in, in terms of you know, what we would continue um, we're hoping that actually we will have face-to-face -face labs in the fall, but certainly some of these things that we've prepared can um, be supplementary material, but definitely the tutorials will be um, very helpful in, in continuing. 
Um, and so again, I thank you for your kind attention.